Welcome to the easiest guide to installing reshades for Spider-Man 2. Reshades allows you to adjust the game's colors and lighting to improve visuals and even match movie looks. You can create your own look or download presets for instant enhancements. I'm going to show you in Spider-Man 2, but this process applies to almost any game. Firstly, head over to the Reshade website and download the latest version. Links in the description below. Run the file to begin installation. Find the game you want to apply it to and go Next. Select the DirectX 10 to 12 option and go Next. When selecting effects, the easiest option is to uncheck all and then check all. This will ensure maximum compatibility with any preset you download. Press Next and it will automatically install. Now that it's all set up, let's download some reshade presets. Head over to Nexus Mods and have a browse or search for reshades. Let's go for the Cine New York one. Download it by selecting Manual at the top right. Go to the file's location and extract it. Now all you have to do is place the file in the game's directory. That's easily found by locating it in Steam, right-clicking, Properties, Installed Files, Browse. Drag the file here and select Replace File if it asks. OK, let's open the game and test it out. Press Home to bring up the menu. It will look daunting at first, but it's simpler than it looks. The top bar is the active preset. To change presets, just click the name of the current one and select a new one from the drop-down list. The top panel is the list of effects that can be toggled. The bottom panel are the controls for each effect. You don't even need to touch any of these if you just want to download presets. You can see this preset gives the Sam Raimi Spider-Man look. I recommend going to Settings and mapping Toggle Effect Key and Next Preset buttons. Now you can turn the reshade on and off instantly or cycle through them at will. This preset has a sharpened HDR realistic look to it, which I personally love. If you feel daring, you can play around with effects on the main window. I'll show you how you can change just a few to get this noir comic look. Firstly, find an effect called Colorful Poster and enable it. Underneath Enable Color Grading. Go to the controls below and set the saturation to zero and bump the contrast up. Then find Letterbox for the black bars. You can change the size of them too. For the final effect, look for S Outline to really give it the finishing touch. Just be careful tweaking too much as you can really mess up the visuals. Luckily, you can reset to default if this occurs. I hope this has helped. Happy swinging, webheads!